Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, day two and I'm delighted to be here at the ETL stand with Andrew. Andrew, thanks for your time today. Thanks, How's it all going so far? Well, we're having, as usual, a good IBC show. Obviously, we invest a huge amount of time and money through the IBC uh, system and we've been here about 21, 22 years. So, you know, again, here we are, 2025 uh, in Hall 1. And what's fresh about this year? Um, what's fresh is that we've been joined by uh, two companies which we've acquired and they are on the stand with us for the first time. So we've got uh, what we've called ETL Canada. So this is IRT Technologies which make uh, solid state power amplifiers. And also we've got a UK company called Spacepath who make TWTA high power amplifiers also. And they've joined us to show off their, um, their manufacturing goods. And that's all going well. Um, yeah, we've got customers literally behind you trying to get past and um, so they're looking at the amplifiers which are all here on the stand at the moment which are for used for uplink uh, signals to satellites um, so either uh, various bands from um, C to X to KU to KA band but obviously the big ones are for uh, geo satellites, the ones furthest away and the smaller ones to my right behind me are four uh, smaller dishes, uh, again going up to Leo, Mio and Geo. So I want to talk generally about trends in the market, just, just to kind of recap, what are the main trends? Um, the trends are that we're seeing a, a really big change in the way that the new constellations are hoovering up um, the growth in data. So um, a few years ago, before Leo happened, um, obviously we could see that data was going to be a, a massive area of increase. So we were watching that quite carefully. Um, so we knew that ground stations were going to have to change and prices were going to have to come down. But there's still a huge role as we, st so we see Leo's constellations coming into existence and they are handling data uh, at a very low cost. We are still seeing a huge role for the geosatellites further out who handle a very different bandwidth and a very different signal rate. So they are handling high, uh, high throughput satellites, so video images, audio images, uh, such as the Olympics and sports and news that we're used to. So there's a real role for the old geosatellites and also the new LEO satellites. So it's really important that we talk about that with our equipment that we've got here to make sure that as ground stations evolve, there's different equipment required for each type of satellite layer around the world. Yeah, so lots of big conversations going on over the last few days and over the next few days, I'm guessing. You've got to, as you say, you know, a, a find solutions to a variety of different customers' needs. Talk to us a bit about that. Okay, so historically, um, ETL has been very much in the ground station and teleport, uh, providing uplink and downlink satellite signals from the ground to satellite for sports, news gathering, um, and also obviously for some of our government customers. So to do that, we can use switch matrices, amplifiers, and they provide a number of things. They provide um, uh, handling of frequency, a very efficient signal uh, handling and redundancy. And I think it's really important to remember when a signal fails that you have backup paths. So if you're watching the World Cup football or Formula One or golf, uh, there isn't a single point of failure in your communications chain. Reliability has to be everything. Absolutely. So that's very much been at the heart of what our engineers do and make. And we are basically providing broadcasters and people who use satellite signals with um, a reliable and consistent signal all the time all about solutions at the end of the day. Tell me briefly then, what does the future look like? If you had a crystal ball, what would you see? Well, I think it's all about uh, cost primarily. We're seeing a huge role in uh, increase in data. Uh, so we're now uh, building different equipment to handle um, LEO constellations. So again, signals need to come up and down. So we're providing uh, switch matrices at different frequencies to be able to, to move um, and work with the new type of antenna that's used for LEO constellations. But we're also, the biggest one is moving into the digitization 
of the RF spectrum. So as your signal comes down to the ground and goes to your customers, we can now digitize that. And we have a range of products which we're designing at the moment, which will help people use the digital cloud domain to move satellite signals from the dish and make it available to multiple teleports around the world. And that's a real game shift from the way we've been doing at the moment, which is a very much an analog um, coax cable uh, environment. Exciting times ahead. Thank you so much for your time today. Enjoy the rest of the show, Andre. Okay, thank you, Joe.